I'm Steve Cohen, and I'm known as the Millionaire's Magician. I have a magic show that's been running for the past 15 years at the Waldorf Astoria Hotel here in New York City. I began my show Chamber Magic basing it on an idea of the magic salons that were very popular in 19th century Europe. In Vienna, in Paris, magicians used to gather small audiences and they would charge a little ticket price for them to come in. And the interaction between the magician and the audience was really, really intimate. So when I decided to make a magic show here in New York, I wanted to recreate that intimacy and have only about 30, 40, 50 people uh, be able to experience magic up close. I have the best job in the world. One of the things I like to do is find old tricks that haven't been seen for perhaps hundreds of years. Tricks that were interesting and fascinating to people back then, and in my mind are probably still fascinating to people today. It's just that we've forgotten about them. We are here at the Conjuring Arts Research Center in Midtown Manhattan. Uh, these antique magic books go back to the 15th century. I like to find an interesting trick and then research all of the instances that has, has appeared in the literature prior to that original source, and then compile all the different methods together, maybe even add a modern method to create something which is performable for a modern audience. One of the things that I'm most known for in my show at the Waldorf is a routine called Think a Drink. I have a silver teapot and I pour all the different drinks that people from my audience ask for, whether it's a uh, margarita or if it's a hot chocolate, anything they ask for, I can pour them one by one from the same pot and everyone from the audience gets to drink it and try out their favorite drink. Will you lean your nose in, sir, and just smell it? Does that smell like a glass of bourbon to you? It does. It certainly does. <laughs> uh, have a taste and let us know if it is indeed a glass of bourbon and it's uh, Woodford Reserve. It is. it is. Well, let's give him a nice hand. Thank you for your sharing. <laughs> Bottoms up, sir. It's all for you. So cheers. It's all for you. Magic has given me my life. Without magic, I can't even imagine what I would be doing. Thanks to magic, I've been able to travel all over the world, and I get paid for it, and I get a chance to share my passion and my enthusiasm to audiences every week. People keep on coming in to see me. It's incredibly gratifying. I can't imagine doing anything else. I love magic, and I love my job.